Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is a video for Terry, and I uh, wanted to do a quick video on how to touch up the paint on these 999 locomotives. You can see this one is in fairly poor condition. There's nothing wrong with it. It runs well, and uh, there's no real damage to it. It's just been stored badly. And when zinc is stored badly, oxide begins to form under the paint. And it actually lifts the paint off the metal. And as you can see, you've got big bare spots, speckles, um, just strange pattern wear. And there's no actually no pattern to it. It just comes off in spots where the moisture has actually begun to react on the pot metal. So the easiest way to do this, of course, is with a marks a lot marker. The cheapest way. You can get these things at dollar store, four of them in a package for a buck. A buck and a half, whatever it was. Anyway, it's really simple to do this, and uh, all you have to do is rub this marker on where the paint is missing. And as you see, it covers it pretty quickly. Now, it doesn't match at all. The marker is shiny and a hint of purple rather than being actually black. But I just wanted to show you a real easy trick to do this. So I'll just do this one spot. And as you see, I'm just literally covering this with the ink marker. And it's got a chisel point, so you can use that point to get down into tight spaces. And I'll just do this spot right here in the cab. So you can see it's fairly easy to do. It only takes a few minutes and you can actually do the entire locomotive. And in many cases it'll look almost like it's been repainted. All right, let's just do this one spot here. Okay, so I've completely covered this, as you see. So just give it a couple minutes to uh, dry. This is a permanent marker. And you get this on cloth, it's never going to come out. It's like a laundry marker, very much. So, anyway, just cover all the missing paint, and then just let it set for a couple seconds. And you can blow on it, of course, to speed up the drying. And uh, you notice it's really strange colored. It does not match the rest of the paint. It's black, yes, but it has almost a hint of purple to it. So just give it a, a minute or so to dry. It doesn't take very long at all. In fact, while we're waiting, let's do this spot here on the side of the cab. And like I said, this is really straightforward, and it only takes a minute, and you can completely, virtually repaint the uh, locomotive. It's really simple to do this. You can hit all the spots. You can uh, really clean this up. I mean, you can really clean it up. It's actually quite amazing what you can do with an ink marker in just a few minutes of your time. So as you see, it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, touch up the spot where the paint is missing. Now, it won't hide dents or anything like that, but it uh, replaces the paint that is missing off the locomotive really, really quickly. And you can do this entire thing in about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And uh, you can cover anything that's missing in just a minute or so. As you see. And this is a real great expedient because the only alternative is to actually tear this thing apart and repaint it. So anyway, you can see the paint or the uh, marker has dried. It's now dull looking, but it does not match. So now watch this. Motor oil. Put one drop of motor oil on this. One here, one there. Now watch what happens. Just paint the motor oil directly onto the marker and it instantly takes on a deep, deep black finish, as you see.
And it only takes a couple of seconds to actually oil this. And this is just plain old motor oil. I go down to dollar store and get a quarter motor oil, I don't know, a couple of bucks, something like that. And I pour it into these little bottles. It'll last you virtually forever. And that's also the oil I use for lubricating the uh, locomotive, the moving parts. In the original Mark's directions, it said, do not use thin oil. So they didn't want you to use uh, sewing machine oil or three-in-one oil. They wanted a good, heavy, robust oil. Anyway, so as you see, you would never know that is ink marker. Now, it seems really glossy and really oily. So you let this set for 24 hours. I go ahead and run it as is. And by tomorrow, this oil will have penetrated into the original paint, and this will blend absolutely perfectly. It's really, really simple to do this. It only takes a few minutes, and you can virtually repaint the locomotive with an ink marker. And uh, like I said, you let it dry for just a minute or so. It doesn't take long. And... Uh, Paint it with oil and then just let it set. And then by tomorrow, 90% of this oil will have penetrated the paint and it'll be one continuous color. The gloss will be virtually gone. It'll still be slightly glossy, but it won't, won't be uh, like it is now. And uh, the oil will have penetrated the paint and anything you've touched up will be perfectly blended and you will not be able to tell where the original paint stops and the ink marker starts. It uh, actually works really, really well. And as you can see, and from a foot away, you would never know that that had any paint damage at all. And this penetrates really, really quickly. Like I said, 24 hours, 90% of this will just be gone. It will just penetrate this paint, and uh, it blends it together, and you will never know that it had any paint damage at all. It's really, really simple to do this, no matter where it is. And you can touch up almost anything. It's like the uh, the front here. And you'll find a lot of these things are really, really um, spotted and speckled. And that's from the moisture getting into the pot metal. And it reacts and literally lifts the paint right off of the pot metal. And like I said, without doing this, the only alternative you have is to repaint it. And uh, I did a bunch of experiments to find out some easy way to do this. And this is the easiest way that I found. I mean, this really works. It's really simple. It's really inexpensive. Best of all, it's really fast. And uh, like I said, this chisel tip, you can get into all these little nooks and crannies and really touch up this paint. And it'll match. Uh, you'll never know where the original paint stopped and the marker starts. So as you see, it only takes a few minutes to do this. You can do this entire shell, literally, in about 10 minutes. You can uh, touch up every bit of it, and you don't have to remove the uh, handrails. You just let this stuff dry, and this is almost dry now. Like I said, you can blow on it. And then once it's dry, you put a drop of oil on it, and uh, just rub the oil into the marker, it assumes a really, really deep, deep black. You can see that's almost dry now. And it, like I said, it only takes a couple minutes to do this. So, blowing on it to speed it up a bit. All right, so we'll take the uh, oil. We'll put one drop here, one drop there. All right, let me grab my brush, and as you see, It touches up this paint just absolutely instantly. And you would never know that that paint was ever damaged. It's really simple. The best part, of course, is the fact that it's really fast. You can do this in a matter of minutes. You get some old wreck from eBay, get it running, and then in 10 minutes, you can virtually repaint the entire locomotive. As you see, you would never know that paint was damaged. Now, again, as this uh, sets over the next 24 hours, this paint is going to be, or this oil is going to be absorbed directly into this paint, and it'll rejuvenate it, and 
it will all be one color. You will never know where the ink marker starts or stops and the paint starts. It works really well. It's really simple. It's really quick. It's really cheap. It only takes a minute to do it. So plain old marks a lot ink marker. You can find these things at dollar store. Like I said, there's either two of them or four of them in, uh, four of them in a package for it's either a dollar or a buck and a half, something like that. Anyway, the result is actually quite gratifying because you don't have to tear it apart and respray it because if you respray it, you have to take the handrails off unless you want them black. But uh, even up here on the top, on the, uh, the domes, it only takes a minute to do this. I would do the whole thing, but it'd make for a very long, boring video. But just want to do a, a quick video on touching this up. Because it really does work. And it's really simple. It's really quick. And uh, you can do specific spots. If you don't need to repaint it, you don't have to. You just oil that spot as well. And it will blend right in. And like I said, you've got this chisel point. So you can get right next to these domes and stuff. And run some marker around it. And then just let it set for, it only takes a minute, literally. You can almost watch it dry. And then, of course, a drop of oil. Put one drop of oil right there. It doesn't take much because you can spread it out really thin with a brush. And as you see, it instantly turns it deep, deep black and blends in directly to the rest of the paint. And as you can see, I didn't paint here at all. And yet... It's virtually the same color. But you can see how black and shiny that dome is now, where it was just basically bare pot metal. So it only takes a minute to do this, and it really works. That's the important thing about it. I mean, it really works. You can have this thing touched up in 10 minutes, and you'll think it just was repainted. And it's never perfect, because you still have little flecks, and you can see... Uh, you know, this paint has thickness, and you can see where it's missing. And, uh, you know, you get up in, at close, you know, you look at it six inches away, and you can definitely see it. From a foot away, you would never know it uh, at all. And as you can see, every spot that I've touched up looks virtually repainted. The cab, the dome, the uh, steam chests, even the screw. So I just want to do a quick video. It's really, really simple, really easy. It only takes a minute. And uh, the best part is it's virtually permanent. It's never going to wear off. And the only reason this paint is damaged is because of bad storage. These aren't uh, actually scratches. That's not what this is. This is water damage. And like I said, moisture reacts on pot metal. And uh, it basically just makes the paint flake away from the metal. And uh, you'll find uh, a locomotive, one side is perfect, the other side looks just like this. And so it just depends on how much moisture got into it and where. But as you see, the spots I've touched up look actually quite good. And uh, by tomorrow, this oil will have penetrated the paint. And uh, you would think that this locomotive has been repainted. It hasn't been, but it looks like it. And uh, you can't tell if this is ink marker. It's exactly the same color as the original paint. It works really, really well. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.